Did you know there are a few different ways to measure the size of a shipping fleet? In this video, we rank countries based not on the number of vessels in their fleets, but instead on carrying capacity as measured in deadweight tons. This number tells you how much a ship can carry, not including its own weight. Before we get started though, be sure to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Coming in at number 10, the United States has a little over 57 million deadweight tons in carrying capacity, representing 2.79% of total world capacity. Bermuda ranks number 9. Many foreign ship operators have chosen to take advantage of its favorable rules and regulations, bringing its total to over 60 million tons. Norway is number 8 on the list. With over 2,000 vessels, this Scandinavian country controls over 3% of global carrying capacity. Number 7 is South Korea, the world's largest shipbuilding country. It represents 3.93% of total world supply and has over 80 million tons. With 89.4 million tons, Germany ranks number 6. Exports are incredibly important to the country representing nearly half of its economy. Hong Kong is number five on the list. With one of the world's biggest shipping fleets, it is able to carry over 100 million tons. Number four is Singapore. The country's fleet is very impressive, with carrying capacity over 137 million tons, or 7.7% of global capacity. Coming in at number three, China's enormous shipping fleet commands over 11% of global carrying capacity. Japan ranks number two in terms of deadweight tonnage and as a percentage of global carrying capacity. The country is looking to disrupt the industry, saying it's ready to start building zero emission and artificial intelligence driven autonomous ships. Lastly, number one on our list is Greece. Greece is home to only around 10.5 million people and has a GDP of approximately 190 billion. And yet, Greek ship owners control almost a fifth of total global carrying capacity. For more on transportation and shipping, be sure to visit usfunds.com to sign up for our research.